Hey, I'm Rob McGargle, and I'm back here in my shop here at Taylor Guitars. I've got my guitar set up and prepped here just like I would do it on the road, so now I'm gonna go over how to restring the guitar. Um, I'm gonna use my power winder. We talk about using the hand winder. I do keep this with me at all times just in case my power winder dies, but here, of course, at the shop, I'm, I'm going with my power winder. There's something that I really feel is important, changing strings, and it is about safety. Put your hand on the strings when you're unwinding the string. What that's gonna do is just by chance, I don't know how old your strings are, if it snaps at the post, it will die right there. It will stop, it won't come back and possibly hit the guitar or hurt you. So safety is always number one. So you're gonna see me put my hand here, I've got my winder, and I'm gonna unwind them. Now they're gonna be completely loose, not sort of loose, completely loose. With the strings completely loose now, I can remove them from the bridge. I use my cutters to do this. Now there's, there's lots of things on the market you can get to pull bridge pins, but I use the cutters. I do it gently. I use the saddle as like a little lever for myself to pop the pin, and it's really simple. You can see how easy this comes up. Just do all six. And because the strings are so loose, look at this. Look at how easy those came out. So we have all six strings in our hand. The reason we put the strings on the way we do, and we'll talk about that more on the installation part, is also for ease of removal. So look at this. Look at how simple that is. Nothing's tied, nothing, I don't need to get any tools in there to try to do anything. It's just a simple unwind of the string. I want you to also notice something. Notice I'm supporting the guitar. I have my arm here. These are just little things that I do that I'm gonna try to, these little tricks and, and little features that I'm gonna bring to you as I'm doing this. I'm all about keeping control of the instrument because the last thing we wanna do is have it slip off a table or anything like that and damage the guitar. So when you're in control of the guitar, it's a safe guitar. Now with the, with the strings off the guitar, it's the perfect time to clean it. Now this one is completely clean. Everything about this thing is beautiful. But a microfiber cloth, a little bit of guitar polish, it goes a long way. Maybe a little scotch bread on the fingerboard, a little steel wool, quadruple lock, clean that up and add some oil. Um, what that'll do is it'll just ensure the guitar is just feels good under your fingers and it'll keep the strings a lot, you know, alive a lot longer because the last thing we want is to put the old dirt back on the new strings. So while the guitar is apart, give it a once over, it's real important. I also use a 10 millimeter nut driver and look at this, this is just to double check just to make sure that those tuners are tight. Okay, so do all six. Like I said, these ones are already done. This guitar is studio ready. It's ready to happen. So this guitar is ready to have the strings put back on it. Now, unlike me, you don't have a thousand sets of strings off on your side. I'm sorry, I do. <laughs> I've got mine ready to go here, but I do suggest at least getting two sets. And the reason is if you break one, I mean, it can happen. They, it happens to me sometimes too, and I've been putting, I don't know, a million sets of strings on. A string can break. Make sure you have two sets so you can get through. All right. One of the things that people forget, and it's one of the easiest things, the string does not just get pushed into the guitar. It's a little tiny bit of push. The bridge pin lined up with the slot in, and pulled tight. Notice my fingers here and I'm pulling that tight. What that's doing is locking the bridge pin or the, the ball of the string onto the top of the bridge pin plate. And what that's gonna do is ensure that when we tune this, it's locked. I've had so many people email me or they'll call us and say, hey man, when I'm tuning up my guitar, it takes days for this thing to stay in tune. What's going on is this. The strings are slowly pulling and pulling and pulling and finally they lock in. We can do that right here. There's no reason to wait three days for your guitar to stay in tune. So let's continue on. Hear that lock in there? So I do this on all six. So why do I do this? Why am I doing all six at one time and not just putting the strings on? Because I can reach inside the guitar now and I can gently feel that they're all locked up against that pin plate. 
They've all been pulled and locked in. I feel very safe about putting the strings on. So now let's get to that point. Check this out. I grab the string and I kind of put a little pull right here. What that's gonna do is kind of get a little bend in that to get up onto the saddle and that kind of pre-stretches it back here behind the pin. I'm gonna come up, line it here. I'm going to my low E string. There's so many ways to measure it. I just come up and cut it right past the next tuner post. But, you know, you can go the length of a finger to your knuckle. You can hold the string at the tuner post, slide the string all the way in, and that's basically gonna give you the same exact distance. But I just like to cut it. I come up just past the post. Now watch this. I'm away from the headstock. We don't wanna damage the guitar, it's all about safety. Line up that post, get the string eh, half an inch. Now look at that. As it came in, I gave some pressure, all right? So what I'm doing, you can hear this, there's actually a tone coming out of the body of the guitar because I'm in control. I'm working from the headstock and that allows me to stay in control. So when you're doing this at home on your table, stay in front of it. I'm also making sure that my winds are starting from the bottom and coming up. And what that'll do with this amount of distance I did right here, it's gonna lock this string into that post. What this does, once again, ease of operation of installing, ease of operation of taking them off. Let's go to the next string. Now the G is the thinnest string, the, th well, the thinnest core, and it is the thinnest of the wound strings. We're gonna go just a little bit more, and what that does is it just ensures that the string is just below the hole in the tuner and gets down on the bell curve, so if you're detuning and retuning, it keeps the string from fatigue. Now here's a mistake that a lot of people do. They get the strings on, and then they spend all this time at first just trying to use their digital tuner and get the guitar in tune. We have so much more to do before the guitar locks in tune, so we just need to get it close. All right, so this is where my tuning fork comes in handy, and obviously you can use your digital tuner, but we're not talking about perfectly in tune on every string. Now, why are we not worried about it? We need to stretch the strings. Remember we talked about that with the string coming up through here? It takes days for my guitar to stay in tune. We're gonna get it close, we're probably gonna stretch it two or three times before we think about a digital tuner or before we realize the strings have locked in. Once you do that, your guitar can stay in tune for days. Taking the string, hand up into the sound hole, see that? A nice gentle lift. Take your other hand, and just a simple kind of movement of the string. And what I'm doing is this, I'm just taking my hand and just kind of pushing with my thumb and moving with my fingers, just like that. We're not really putting any heavy tension. We don't wanna snap our strings, but it is just giving those little areas to stretch. And watch how far these things went. One more time. One more time, tune it up. So much closer that was. One more time stretching them and then get your digital, digital tuner out and you're gonna be good to go. Okay, that's, that's how you wanna go about this. So let's recap. We wanna make sure we get those strings completely loose, nice and easy. That way we can get those bridge pins out easily. We can get the strings off. And remember, because we put them on this way, they came off easily. With the strings off, we go about cleaning the guitar and it could be, it could be the fingerboard, the body. Like I said, this one was clean, we didn't need it. We used our 10 millimeter nut driver. We took care of our tuner nuts. And then of course, installing the strings, good cutters, good winder, some way to tune it and a digital tuner. Hey, 
If you follow these simple steps, restringing and cleaning the guitar is a breeze. So enjoy. Hey, if you like these videos on, you know, simple maintenance and things that we do here at Taylor Guitars, hit that subscribe button and you'll, you'll get all the new content as it comes out.